On Florida's Space Coast, you can do anything. Walk on water or learn to fly. Touch the stars or even another world. Lose yourself, but find each other. Just don't forget to look up. We're the only beach in the world that doubles as a launch pad. Because this, you can only do here. Start your adventure online at visitspacecoast.com. Today on 321 Liftoff, we're going to tell you how you can enjoy the unique flavor, the fresh beachy atmosphere, and the joy and hospitality of the people of Mexico without actually having to go to Mexico. We'll introduce you to David Gonzalez, the owner of Margarita Island Mexican Kitchen and Bar, who brought the flavor of Mexico to Florida's Space Coast here on Marin Island. You can enjoy a 100% family atmosphere, a modern touch, but without losing the identity and the Mexican flavor. Unique flavor, fresh and beachy atmosphere, the joy and hospitality of the people of Mexico is what we wanted to bring, is what he wanted to bring to Florida. Here you can savor the best Mexican flavors from fresh guacamole to an excellent cut of meat, as well as the best margaritas and cocktails in the Space Coast. Does that sound good? Well... Pull up a chair and listen as we learn more. Let's meet the owner of Margarita Island Kitchen and Bar, David Gonzalez. Buenos dias, David. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Uh, good morning, everyone. Three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Welcome to 321 Liftoff. I'm Wayne Belden, the president of Belden Communications, the publisher of the Space Coast Fun Guide and SpaceCoastFunGuide.com. We'll be bringing you 321 Liftoff each week, talking about tourism on Florida's fabulous Space Coast. With me is the host of 321 Liftoff, Bonnie King, former deputy director of the Space Coast Office of Tourism, as well as the past president of the Florida Film Commission. Bonnie, are we ready to blast off on 321 hey. Liftoff? Hey, hey. hey! We are, and it is another beautiful day here on Florida Space Coast, and we are ready to continue our conversation about food. Oh, man, I favorite. know, I know, you love food. <laughs> and, and, and where are you going to go visit when you're in our area to find a great place to eat? And today, as we said, we're going to meet David Gonzalez, and he's the owner of the new Margarita island mexican bar and grill which is right here in the merritt square mall on merritt island 321 is brought to you in part by the beachside hotel in Cocoa beach the perfect place that you can stay when you're here on your vacation to this fabulous area and by the space coast fun guide.com where you will learn what there is to see and do and where to do it right here on the space coast mm-hmm. joining me as always is our own little senor Senor John Belden. Senor. Senor John Belden, Vice President of Belden Communications. <laughs> Hola, Bonnie. I like happy, my accent. Is happy, that good? That's good. Very good. Happy Friday to you guys. In addition to the full menu, Margarita Island is known for its vast array of margaritas. No surprise there. That's my favorite. Uh, whether frozen or on the rocks, just looking at all the pictures, including samples of their food, is enough to whet my appetite. This is my kind of place. It's, it's well known when you know me and my family. We love Mexican restaurants. This is right up our alley. Uh, with us this today is another foodie, our producer, Phil Bird. How you doing there, Mr. Phil? Buenos dias, mi amigos. I love margaritas, actually. That's actually one of my favorite yeah. drinks. They're so versatile. Yeah. They are. You can do anything with it. So I like I, a pretty blue one, too, just to mix yes, it up. You know? any, any margarita is great. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Glad you're here, David. That's, that's it, man. And, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, the president of Building Communications, my father. How you doing there, Pop? I am so excited. I, I can't wait to hear all about how he can't wait D- to eat David got this re- fantastic restaurant started and brought it here to Merritt Island. But, you know, restaurants play a big role in tourism, and visitors as well as residents like to go to places that are locally owned. They offer the freedom and exploration where locally owned establishments can let their diners decide which foods remain on the menu and even adapt to community trends. So let's meet the owner of Margarita Island, David Gonzalez. Buenos dias, David. How you doing, man? Buenos dias. Hello. Yes. Uh, yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias to everyone and uh, to all the 
people that are listening. Buenos dias. I love that. I love that. And happy Friday as well. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. going to be a great weekend. Shout right. out to Friday. That's yes. Right, Didn't even realize it. <laughs> yeah. And what a great way to happen your and start your Friday. You should start it with a margarita. I think that should be mandatory, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> margarita, and margarita on the margarita weekends Island. anyway, everybody's going, where are we going to go eat this weekend? You know? So that's what we're going to talk about. We're we start that about. on Monday. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. Like, where are you going to go eat tonight? That's right. But yeah, so anyway, Margarita Island, located right here at Merritt Square Mall. Right on Merritt Island. So tell us about how you got started and, and how you came about being in Merritt Island with Margarita. Well, how I got started like in the business was I've been I've been in involved in the in, in the industry of uh, of restaurants since I was seventeen. I oh was I was yeah. still in high school. Yeah. When um when you know uh, when I started as a part time, I started as a buzzer, you know, um mm-hmm. uh, uh, I did a little bit of cooking as well. Through you know, with the years growing, you enjoy that. The uh, I do, I do. Yeah. Uh, but um, s- I was seeing that you know where you know I could do better, mm-hmm. and it was more with my customers. I what I really love was to make drinks. Ah. I really like to be behind the bar hey, and you know see the experience. <laughs> hey now, <laughs> you're talking to the guys. They know that. Yeah, they know I mean, that. At, at the age of 18, 19, 20, you know, you just. You want to be out there, you know, where the fun is, where... Where the girls the, are at. <laughs> kind right. of, yeah. <laughs> right, Phil? Yes. <laughs> That's it. He's careful about what he says. Ah. Me, I, you I'm, probably, I'm trying to be. You yeah. probably met your wife, because I know your wife works with you, and that that's probably where you met her, right? When you guys worked at a restaurant together. Is that true? Actually, yes. Uh, we met at a restaurant about, awesome. I want to say, four years ago, maybe five years ago. And uh, she was actually working at the the restaurant that I always like to eat, like, you know, because whenever you're at work and you're working, you know, you're always there, right? So you eat there for the most part almost every day. So whenever you're not, or you're on your day off or you're not working, um, I there was this Mexican restaurant that I used to like just because it was so different. Mm-hmm. Like everything was different about it. And uh, I walked, you know, everybody knew me there. Everybody knew me like, you know, it was just like my second home in there mm-hmm. because I was, I kept attending like, Almost weekly, I was a regular to that customer, you know, to, to that restaurant. And uh, that's when I saw my wife for the first time one day, you know. You just saw her sitting over there in the corner eating yeah. that Mexican food. <laughs> like, mm, I need to go up and introduce no, myself she, to her. No, she worked there. She worked oh, at she the worked restaurant, there, yes. Okay. Yeah. She was. Uh, so she came and took your order. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey now. <laughs> she, she, she was starting to uh, kind of like train to be a, 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 a bartender. And like I said, I, I used to know everybody there. And uh, my friends, uh, you know, everybody and people. Be, I, I will ask, you know, one of my one of my good friends in there, and I was like, "Hey, who's that new girl?" He was like, "She's like, oh, she's just barely training, you know, to be a, a bartender." And I was like, "Oh, there you go. Well, let me. You said let me help her. Absolutely. I, I always wanted to do bartending because <laughs> you guys do like those fun moves. Oh yeah. Uh, and Did you do those things like throw the bottle up in the air? And stuff no, like that? not so much. Uh, not yeah. so much. That's more like in a club or you know, uh, that's or, true. Or like in a bigger stage or yeah. in a movie. That's true. I, I'm the most clumsiest person. I could never do that. I'm looking at these guys like, how do you do that? And I, I trip over my feet. I don't have shoestrings. You have big feet, man. I don't have shoestrings <laughs> because I always trip on them. So, so yeah, I can, I can do that. No, no, well, no. Well, I mean, I know that we have Mexican flavor, but we also have, you also have other foods just in case somebody doesn't want to have Mexican, correct? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we kind of picked, uh, we kind of mix our ingredients and stuff and we play with our flavors as well because there is people that are like, that like to eat more plain. And there's other people that are, love like mm-hmm. the heavy the spice like, and the spice like, uh, and flavor wet and the burritos hot. and yeah, yeah, yes. yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And then you have uh, people that come is like looking for salads, and like for example, like it, even in our location, like we were speaking before, you were saying it about the previous restaurant that was there that was very famous for their salad bar. Right. So people come in is like, hey, they're looking for salads. And I knew that was going to happen, so that's why I created. We, we have a couple of options where people is like, "Oh, I still can, I can still smart. get a salad here." Right. Very smart. Yeah. Right. I, I love when you walk into a good Mexican restaurant and the smell it just the smell you. gets to you right oh away. Oh my gosh, it's just. I mean, honestly, I can smell it right now, <laughs> and it's just salivating, right? Yes. Top so three, it, top three smells. It's, it's like it's it's a Mexican restaurant, Home Depot, 
And, and new tires. <laughs> yeah, and new tires. <laughs> That's like the top three of like men's smells, Bonnie. That's I'm right. telling you, if you ask really? any any yeah. man, hey, what are your top three smells? Somebody in top five, they may say gasoline. I, I, that was just gonna say See? that. See? Gasoline. See, it's it's it's, it's, it's a, a, a unwritten a code. Bonnie. There's a way, like yeah. something that that it, it's kind of like. I'm not saying like sniff it, like you know. Yeah. Like, you don't do that. It'd be bad. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm not trying to get that message out there, but it kind of smells good, you know, when you when you pumping gas. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all manly. Hey, yeah. man, I just learned something. I had right. no idea. That's no a, idea. That's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, let me just say that your margarita, you're, when you have, it's like a whole menu of margaritas. So if somebody really enjoys, you know, margaritas, and you've got everything else as well, but I'm just saying your margarita list is very long and very involved and very good. Your tropical island margarita. Can you tell us favorite. about a couple of those margaritas? Can I, I'm sorry. Can you tell us about a couple of those? Oh, margaritas? absolutely. Yes. Um, I mean, uh, like what she said, uh, yeah. the Tropical Island Margarita is one of our top sellers, okay. as, as well as our Paradise. Uh, Tropical Island Margarita, we make it uh, with a coconut cream, mm-hmm. a coconut milk. And at first, when whenever we describe this to the customer, they're like, uh, they're kind of iffy about it because like coconut milk with tequila, right. you know, it's kind of like, and they get that. And I'm like, if you try it and if you don't like it, you can, I, I can always take it back, but. Have it and try yeah. it, and now they right. actually go and fall for the sample. second one. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Nice. And it's it goes very, it blends very well because it has a uh, uh, maestro de bell tequila, some brands there, you know, uh, fresh lime. But it goes very, very good. Tropical Island is uh, fresh strawberries and kiwis modeled together. See, the name just sounds yeah. appealing to me. The Tropical Island. I'm picturing blue or red or something like that. And and the flavor, I'm, I would I would try it right off the, right off the bat, like because I'm an island guy. I love the water. There's yeah. one thing about me. I like spicy stuff. And there's, when I was looking at your website yesterday, you have a special margarita. I'm going to put it on the screen here. So can you tell everybody about this margarita you got here? Oh, look at that. It's a habanero. It's got habanero on it. Oh, habanero. Th- that is called the uh, it. spicy señorita margarita. So uh, that one is made uh, with uh, fresh mango puree. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I like mango. A maestro de bell silver tequila, fresh squeezed lime, uh, organic agave nectar. And, and it, we just put a tahine uh, spice around yes. the rim. And it's very, very good. Look how beautiful it looks. It looks like it was painted. Yeah. Yes. Wow. It's a that's... centerpiece. You can put a centerpiece in your uh, in your house. You guys made that in the restaurant. And then it, I bet you it tastes as good as it looks. And you can eat the flower. Oh, absolutely. No, oh. you cannot. Yes, you can. Yes, it's edible. Yes. It's an edible It's an edible orchid. flower. Wait. Yes. Wait, wait, are you great. serious? Oh, I'm, yes. Put that back up there. You can eat that, that yes. purple pink flower. Yes. yes. What's it taste like? <laughs> that's a good question. It, flower. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. you got me there. I mean, yeah. It's just nice to say, you know, you ate the ate the flower. It's all good. One question that I have, did you have to get any kind of special permission to use the, the name Margaritaville? Well, it's Island. Island. Margarita, Margarita Island. Island. Margarita yeah, so Island. It's not it's, Ville. It's Margarita, Margarita, Margarita Island. I know. Oh, okay, so Mar- right. Mar- but did yeah. you have to get... Did you have to get any? Did you have any problems with licensing and stuff? No, no. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of people kind of like relate that to uh, to us, but it's like Margarita Bill has. I think it's like Margarita Bill Tropical Grill or something like mm-hmm. that. So whenever you break it down, because I'm I'm totally different because right. I'm Margarita Island and then Mexican Kitchen and and Bar. So yeah. it's kind of like different feel entirely. Different fields, yes. So, but smart marketing. So they didn't come and bug you about that then. Nobody. No. no, and I think that when people hear the name Margarita anyway, they automatically think of Margaritaville. They think right. of Jimmy Buffett. That's I mean, what really, I did. Yeah, it's smart. I know he, he's made a brand, and 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 you're right, but he doesn't have a brand on the name Margarita. No, you know. Right. But when you say it, and we all think Jimmy Buffett, we all think no it. doubt. So speaking of that, your the ambiance in your place too is very very welcoming. I must say that when you walk in, not only do you have people that have great hospitality, but the ambiance that you have in the um in your and how you decorated the decor. If you want to talk about that, a little hospitality. Yes, absolutely. Uh, how it was kind of hard uh, when we came in here. Um, the, our expectations were higher. But, uh, and like I said, it's, it's, well, everybody knows about, you know, labor and all that. It went up crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I had a lot of, I went to a lot, through a lot of issues with uh, my contractors before, you know, on, on you know, demolition and stuff uh, where, we did a contract um, with a date, uh, three men, three, you know, at the midst of the of the term for this contract to be ready. Um, and then it wasn't. It ready. turned out to be. It turned out to be that uh, the the cost of uh, what they had said wasn't right. So 
we we fought a lot. We fought a lot. At the end of the day, um, we still open it. Um, at the end, with my wife and I, and uh, the decor that's all my wife. It's how she picked the colors for everything. Very nice. Smart man. Yeah, so, I was gonna say super smart. Yeah, <laughs> let, let her let her do her thing, man. She she does a really good yeah. job, uh, you know, in in, in that field. Uh, she's the one that I put out. You know, it's her. I always say it's her brand. It's her. You know, it's for her. So it's for my family. So it's not really for me. You know, it's always yeah. for the family. We always look up for. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. But you know, it, it, when you were talking about building, I mean, that's the challenges of starting a new business and starting a new place. I mean, you're always going to, you know, run into, oh, it's going to be done on this date. No, it's not. You know, it's going to cost you this much yeah. money. No, it's Nowadays, not. Nowadays, you got to plan. If I yeah. say February 1st, I got to plan for like April exactly. or May. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so. so you had your work cut out for you. Yes. Ah, that sound. Yes, we would like to take a moment. And thank one of our 321 Liftoff podcast sponsors, our favorite resort to stay at when you come to the Space Coast, Beachside Hotel and Suites, where you're always only steps away from the sand and only minutes from Port Canaveral. Check them out at BeachsideHotelsCocoBeach.com. John, tell everybody all about them. Guys, Beachside Hotel and Suites in beautiful Cocoa Beach is the ultimate accommodation for your family's vacation. Once you've checked in, head straight to the Lazy River and enjoy some sunshine while floating in paradise. And whenever you're thirsty, hungry, or both, enjoy coastal cocktails and delicious beach bites at Duck Dive Bar. And when you're ready to go to the beach, Beachside Hotel and Suites has you covered with plenty of free rentals such as boogie boards, bicycles, beach carts, and more. Best of all, during your stay, you just may see a rocket launch because the Space Coast is the only beach that doubles as a launch pad. Only here can you enjoy a relaxing beach day and watch a rocket launch. Make your reservations now at BeachsideHotelCocoBeach.com and launch into your beachside oasis. It's a fun spot, guys. And it's, it's only minutes from Margarita Island. So, guys, that's true. there you go. Just over the bridge, what can you say, right? <laughs> Just what you can say. So, my my Tuesdays, by the way, in case anybody would like to know what I do on my Tuesdays. I was dying to know. Um, I would, me too. At, I was at thinking. Merritt Square Mall, they have the movie theater there, and right. they have like 12 theaters, and they have special prices on Tuesdays. So, mm-hmm. I try to see if there's a movie that I want to see right in the early afternoon. So, I do my lunch first. You get then, your margaritas in before you watch the movie? Uh, absolutely. Well, listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I go to I go to Margarita Island first to have my lunch, and then uh, and then I join a friend and we go. What's your favorite meal movie. there? The rice bowl. Rice, rice bowl. The rice bowl. Chicken I have to bowl. say, very very good. Chicken in it. Yes. Oh man, it's a chicken rice so bowl. Yes, yeah, and it oh. it's just got I don't know I it's just got the right amount of spice so that it's not too hot, not too heavy, but whatever. But just the the right amount of kick, if you know what I mean. Yeah, even in the portion because we have uh, we we're, we're kind of like um, people always tell me about our portions is like oh you have really big portions and and stuff and but this one in particular the chicken rice bowl is something that it's not too heavy on the stomach either. Right. It's like very like the right amount where you're not. Like right, you're not stuffed. full. Yes. Exactly. Can you not, create like, a I'm sampler not for me in the movie. so I can come in there and sample? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anytime. 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 <laughs> anytime. You're, you guys are all welcome anytime. I'm going to come in and check that out, man. You know, so me, me being a foodie, uh, Mexican food is probably one of my top two, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing that's been taking over literally the world in the past year is birria tacos. You guys Ooh, have say, it say, again. That again. say it again. <laughs> birria. 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 You what guys have that? them here. So please tell everybody what it is. If they don't know. Oh, man. And like just. Tell everybody what it is because it's amazing. All right. So the birria tacos is, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, it kind of kicked off about two, three, four, five years, the most. And it's so, I think people liked it or or it, it caught people's attention because of the way of eating that specifically taco. Yeah. Uh, this is a, it's a shredded beef, right? Uh, mm-hmm. That it's a seasoned shredded beef. Uh, and it's just, it has, it actually has a lot of fat. Like whenever you. That's uh, the flavor. That's, that is the flavor. Whenever you see all that, uh, they're normally red. They're kind of like in the red looking thing mm-hmm. because they're marinating in adobo and stuff. So, but the particular way to eat it is that you dip this taco into the, um, the sauce. The into sauce. the sauce that, that is special. Con- we call it consomme. That is actually, the, it's a juice from the meat. Uh, it's all juice. Nice, and uh, we nice. just add onions and cilantro and fresh lime. And, 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 that's, and that's the only taco that it's dipped, that it's, so oh I think gosh. that's why people kind of like, you know, people started, you know, 
Eat is it a hard, hard shell or a soft shell? It is a soft shell. It could be crispy. Like if you ask for crispy. I like soft shell. Did you see though that you're talking about the portions? That was massive. Yeah, yeah there's the, three they of are those. big portions. Wow. And look at the pile of rice and oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Wayne, now. you ever had an Italian beef sandwich? You yeah. know how they have they, they dip it in the onions? Right. It's, it's like it's like that. With a Mexican flavor, it's it's so it's so good. Phil, we're we're taking the wives. We're going to this place, dude. Yeah, I was like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I mean, seriously, that that I'm I'm starving looking at that. Let's go. I'll be there all day today. That's awesome, man. You know, awesome. and then you've got some great appetizers as well. And I don't know if we have any pictures of any of the appetizers. Everything is like an entree. It's here. like well, <laughs> true. Tell, talk about the, the appetizers. Well, what do we got? The, well, I don't know. You'd have to tell me what's on your menu for the appetizers. But I mean, you go in there, and what I what I like to see is that people come in after work or whatever, stop in at the bar, sit down at the bar, have a drink, and maybe a couple appetizers before they um, sit down and have a dinner. Yes, and on, on appetizers, it's like we try to go a little bit out of um, f- what the people still here in the area. Mm-hmm. So we're trying, we're trying new, new things that, that I also collected throughout my, you know, my career as working for other people and, you know, other restaurants. So uh, even my friends tell me, because I have a couple of friends that work, that come to work here from Daytona Beach, you know, uh, I have to bring people from everywhere just to right. come and work. And uh, so I, you know, I told them, it's called, you know, come and help me out, you know. Uh, and they tell me, here's a, hey, David, what we like about you is like, and about the, your menu is that uh, it's actually you picked up a lot of things from different ones, and but I also you gotta pick the best ones, you know, right. because you know, and you to be able to know that you have to work on the field, and you know, so well, you that's have to see what, what people I like. I mean, you have to say, you know, what your customer says. I really like this, or it, you know, that, yeah, that, that's, that, that is very important because uh, it right. was actually somebody told me just the other day um, that uh, they wanted to open a restaurant, but well, I mean, they had the. They had the money to open a restaurant, but they didn't know what kind of food or what kind of menu to right. put in that. In that, and I was like, "Look, you you have to work on the field to be able to, you know, to David, know." You went and sampled all kinds of different places over the years that you worked or whatever, and so you built it from experience, right? I, I did, I did, and actually, um, uh, when was it? Uh, four years ago, three, yeah, four years ago, uh, I was. I've, I always been wanting to get my opportunity. I always uh, work really hard and, you know, um, trying to be an example and trying to show somebody to, you know, that I wanted something for me and for my future family that I didn't have at that moment. So, um, uh, I, yeah, we worked and... Uh, <sighs> Well, that. you're a success story. I mean, look at you. You said you started like when you were yeah. 17. You're so now young. 33. Yep. So you are your, living the actual yeah. American dream. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what this country is all about. And again, yes, it sir. talks about somebody that starts early and works hard and you get what you want. If you work hard and this is what your goal is, and just like you said, you wanted to have good food, you wanted to, you wanted to do more than uh, be a bartender, you wanted to really be management and and, and well, well sometimes i wish i could be a bartender yeah. just a bartender <laughs> well yeah you can you, you can do whatever you want you're in the well, place right yeah you're are right. you are you your own chef or do you have a chef uh, i have a chef and we have our our, our recipes um uh, I, I was gonna tell you uh uh four four years ago there was just one year where i just kind of like travel to see oh what do they have in this state in yeah. you know and uh drinks even i I went to just restaurants and I will try their drinks and stuff. And sometimes I will go in and work there just to see how they make their stuff and, you know, kind of like learn. Yeah. And I did that for yeah, one see? year. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that's, that's how you find out the best information is getting in the trenches and getting, getting, getting it work, and right? trying it and yeah. seeing how other people are working. And, and, you know, it's, it gets you learn, you know, a lot of, um, how do you say knowledge? Yes. Knowledge. Knowledge and, and experience. You're a good role model. Yeah. You're a very good role model for, for people to know that, you know, this is what you can do. Oh, yeah. Put your mind and your heart to it, right? Yeah, and what a great location here at being being at Merritt Square Mall. I mean, people can go shopping. Right, and, you know, go and, to the and, movies. And, and go to the movies. And, and I listen, I, I, after a long day of shopping, I'm ready to sit down and eat. So it's, it's a great location, and you're on the island. So, I mean, it's a beautiful yeah, the island is uh, the link between the mainland and the beach side. Yeah, that's and right. You got Coco and Rock Ledge and Titusville over here, and on this side, Coco Beach and yeah, it's Fort Canaveral and all. Which of brings up, uh, not to change the subject, but somebody had said the other day, um, "Oh yeah, we went to the beach the other day. We were over in Coco, 
and yeah. that you know that, the, Coco the, doesn't have a beach. It's no, Coco Co- Beach, and that you know it's <laughs> that's so that's a important. local war. Let me it tell is. you, it Cocoa really and Cocoa is. Beach, and we yeah. just try to tell people. I've that been flamed for that. Yep, yep. Inland yeah. is Coco, <laughs> and then you come over the bridge into Merritt Island, and then you go over the bridge it's, into Coco it's Beach. Three different worlds so between it is. the three, right? It, it totally is. So, it, David, I want to know something. So, what is what is if you off top your head, what is the number one item that people get on your menu? As food or drink? Food, food. Uh, fajitas. Oh, the fajitas. Fajitas. Uh, th- th- those are one of those kind of like, everybody knows about the fajita, right? Yeah. And, and many people tell me and many people say, I cannot go wrong with fajitas because it's like you make your own, you build your own. Yeah. You, you get all these different toppings like beans, rice, you know, rice and beans, lettuce, tomatoes, and pico de gallo and all that. And you kind of make it, you make your own taco yeah. or burrito, you know, and, uh, and you put as much as you want and it's just, you build your own. So I think that that's one of the uh, number one top sellers. And I think in Mexican food in general, yeah, not just in Margarita Island, but I think in all the, um, all the restaurants, Mexican restaurants. So the you, way I, the way I, sorry guys. So the way I judge, uh, the way my barometer for Mexican food, I always get the enchiladas first. I don't know why, but I always get the enchiladas with, with the, the white queso sauce on it. And you actually have, you actually have enchiladas like that too. So I was like, <gasps> So whenever we go, guys, yes. I'm just putting it out there. That's what I'm getting. Phil wants the enchiladas. <laughs> yes, there absolutely. You go. Hashtag. If you love enchiladas, we have. I mean, I don't. Want, we have a really good variety mm-hmm. of enchiladas, like different kinds and mm-hmm. stuff, and different blends. Um, we probably have. Let me see. Probably about five or six different types of enchiladas. Oh my goodness! Yes. Wow. And I'm saying different from fillings and salsas, mm. and you know, just different flavors that we mixed. So, so let me ask you, a large part of our listening audience are, are people that haven't gotten here yet. And when they arrive, you know, they're in the hotels and whatnot. So do you have uh, any delivery type of service? Are you contracted with anybody that would deliver out to the hotels or they, they come out? Uh, not at the moment. We don't. Um, okay, that's fine. It, it's just because. Come to the restaurant. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Like, come, come and see us. Uh, we're, I mean, it's if you're in Cocoa Beach you're, and you want to, you know, you want to come to the uh, Margarita Island. I mean, it's not going to take you more than 10, 12 minutes. Right. Not even, in traffic, honestly. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's real close by. So, and again, there's a lot to do in this neck of the woods, too. So, it's, it's a great, a great, great location, I think, for sure. And, and the other thing that I also don't want to do that also right now is because I want to, I want all the people to try me first. Yeah. And I feel You're that smart. whenever you put food in boxes and you lose all that time to get to the, you know, you know what? Yes. Good answer. And, yeah. and I think those are listening would appreciate. That's a real food person restaurant right there. You, the quality it does. There's no, there's no doubt about you, it. You will lose quality yep. it, it, as hard as we can try and, or anybody. I mean, it is not the same to, you know, be serving a hot plate, a steaming plate, you know? So, so come get the real experience. Come, come, come and be here, come and be here. Yeah. And, and when you know, it is, when it, it is served to you, it's served very, very pretty. I mean, uh, people take out their calendar, uh, their calendars. Listen to me. They take out their cameras. <laughs> when are we coming here yeah. next? Let's take see. out <laughs> their cameras and take a picture. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, people like that. I mean, it's very, it's, you know, you, you do a great, um, a great way of serving. Presentation. A great yes. presentation. Presentation is key, right? I mean, look it, at that. Always, always. Uh, I mean. Oh, look at okay, that. Describe Ooh, it for those that can't see if they're listening only. What are we Ooh, that's that a good. pineapple upside down cake, and wow. it's one of my favorites. That's why it's there. Uh, it's 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 served warm. It's a warm cake, mm. pineapple cake. Yeah. That we top off with a uh, vanilla um, ice cream. Oh man! So you know it's mm. cold and hot at the same time. Uh, it just it's just a weird appetizer, but it blends really well, and and it's just mouth watering. Oh, you it can't. Food's it. not weird. Food is beautiful. Now, oh, what yeah. is the, what's the what's the dripping that goes across it? What is that? Oh, the, the dripping. Yeah, the, see the Car- caramel, right? No, that's actually the ice like cream caramel. that is melting because I, I mean oh. it's hot. The, Are you serious? Oh no, no, on, so on top. sorry, so yeah, sorry, the, yeah. That that is caramel. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. that is caramel. Oh, ooh, I love okay. caramel. Okay, I, th- I was starting to second guess my foodie card that I have. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Yes, no, that looks good. So, do you have any special prices that you have at certain hours, like maybe happy hour time, uh, kids menus, things of that nature? Uh, we do have. Uh, 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 you have a lunch ki- special, kids. Don't you? We have the lo- we have yeah. the, the menu for lunch. Uh, obviously, we only have one menu. Everything is in one menu. Got it's it. Kind of like a like a little. It has like three, I believe, one, two, three, four pages. Awesome. So you kind of flip it, you know. Yeah. But uh, if let's say there is something on the on the on lunch that you just don't find anything on, on the lunch menu because it's it's very it's more it's a smaller. 
Right. But you can always order from the dinner. So we kind of, that's what we put it awesome. all, all together. So we have special f uh, pricings for the lunch, it's, you know, and then uh, uh, for the kids as well, we have the kids meals as well. Um, we throw there some, you know, Mexican chicken fingers and, right. nice. you know, um, you know th that way because kids are, you know, we, like I said, we always try to give you a lot of options to accommodate, people, yeah. accommodate people. You know, when families. I go out to eat, my son is seven. My daughter's 13, 13 her palate's broadening, but my son, it's chicken fingers or mac and cheese is really his, yeah, there you go. his, his thing wherever we go, you know? Well, he's seven years old. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know. I mean, don't get me wrong. I you love weren't much different. Too. You were only peanut butter and jelly and that's it. To this day, I love peanut butter and jelly too. I still eat it. <laughs> So I wasn't. I was on to I'm something. A, I'm going to join you. I'm a be. I'm a peanut butter and jelly. Person. I mean, come on. That's just that's roots right there. When we went to school, um, you know, we never bought lunches at school. We my mother made peanut yeah. butter and jelly sandwiches. That's how I grew uh, every up. Every day, my mother would go. Don't yes. you want something different? I said, I like it. I, I'm good with it. <laughs> Keep making them. Actually, that's how. I, when I went to school, I love peanut. Uh, you know, uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because that's what I used to get at school for uh, breakfast. Yeah. Either that or a biscuit. I grew up in... Um, I love biscuits. In Dalton, Georgia. That's where I grew up. And I did my, you know, high school and middle school there. And that's where I graduated from. And uh, that's what that's what the food used to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still make them for my kids today. It's, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's a good staple. It's and and it's very economical. It is. Yeah. But we're not here to talk about peanut butter and jelly, folks. We're here well, to talk about... You have that on the I menu? Know, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I come up with something. Hey, I tell you, every time, you never know where the conversation's going to... A peanut butter and jelly taco. Gonna... Ooh. Oh, hey, how about that, Phil? Yeah. Peanut butter right. and jelly taco? Hey, I'm down. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, talk, let's t tell everybody about your uh, website. Okay. And your hours. What your hours of, you're open. Okay. So uh, we open at 11 a.m. for the public every, every single day, Monday till Sunday. Uh, for our hours of operation, we close uh, at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. every single day. And then on uh, Friday and Saturday, we, st we stay uh, one more hour open. So we close at 11. So we're open from 11 till 11, uh, Fridays and, and Saturdays. Uh, we're trying to bring this, this community kind of like, when I moved here, it, it was, I do see that the people in Merritt Island, it's... It's calm after eight o'clock. Uh, you know, everybody goes to. Um, it is calm after right? eight o'clock. They've been drinking true. margaritas all day. <laughs> <laughs> Probably <laughs> they're calm, all right. They're, what's your website? Is it Margarita Island Florida FL. com? Yes, or FL? Yeah, excuse FL. me. Yeah. Florida. Margarita For Island Florida. FL com. So if you those of you listening, check it out for sure. Ah, you know that sound. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's Space Coast Fun Guide's Deal of the Week, where we always give you the most fun and delicious coupons in the Space Coast. Space Coast Fun Guide Deal of the Week is brought to you by Space Coast Fun Guide and SpaceCoastFunGuide.com, where you learn what there is to see and do and where to do it. John? This week's Deal of the Week is brought to you by Cocoa Beach Dolphin Tours, actually right up the street from you there, David, in Cocoa Beach, Florida, offering daily wildlife and sunset cruises. Guys, you can see dolphins, manatees, pelicans, and much, much more. Try a rock... Rock... rock I'll, 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 you go. can say it. <laughs> Guys, you, go, you can try a rocket launch viewing launch cruise, which is here. I mean, we had two launches this yes, week. Yes, we did. In the same day, I think. And watching a launch from a cruise, is river cruise, is fantastic. Beverly Bridges are available on the cruise. Restrooms are available on board. Walk-ins are welcome. However, reservations are highly recommended, so you want to do that. Today's coupon saves you $3 off per person, so check them out at CocoaBeachDolphinTours.com. And for those of you listening from outside the destination, before you arrive to the Space Coast, log on to SpaceCoastFunGuide.com, print your coupons, or once you arrive here at the Space Coast, pick up a Space Coast Fun Guide at almost every major accommodation or attraction and redeem your free coupons directly from our printed visitor guide. Guys, remember, when you're looking for fun in the Space Coast, make sure to refer to Space Coast Fun Guide and SpaceCoastFunGuide.com for what to do and where to do it. And if you have any questions about what's going on on the Space Coast, you can always email info at spacefunguide.com and get correct. the answer. So, That's it. Um, and I know you guys are really busy answering those two because you oh, get yeah, a lot of requests, Oh, yeah, they come right to me. Great. Right to me, I and I answer it. them. So, David, thank you so much for being here. We're we just, you know, we'll we'll see you over there because we all love the restaurant. And um, hopefully our visitors that are here that are coming to visit will have a great place to eat. And we appreciate you taking the time to come see us. Ronnie's really been do. talking you up for quite a while. It's a pleasure to find you. I want my enchiladas. That's it, man. Let's go get I some grub. Come and get them, man. I'll yes. be there. I'll That's be there. It. So, we'll be there. Um, hey, just by the way, National um, Honeybee Day 
festival is coming up. So who knew that we had a national what? bee honey day, whatever. But anyway, it's going to be here in Cocoa from 9 to 2. Um, and the date, that will be um, August 27th, I believe. Local honey and hive products, food and children's games. You can go to um, uh, the visit spacecoast.com where they list the events. You can also go to spacecoastfundide.com and look at all the events there, and they're listed there. Who knew? I mean, really, bees are very, very important. I was reading about bees, and it's amazing. Right. They use the sun to navigate. Yeah. Do they really? I didn't know that. So that's why you don't see them when there's no sun out. That's why you don't see any bees. So, well, if, so if you're getting attacked by bees, just turn the lights off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. I've solved the problem. There you go. But it's, ve- but it's <laughs> been interesting. it's very interesting. So yeah. next week, by the way, next week we are going to meet D- Dominic Del Bracco, and he is the executive artistic director with the Henniger Center, which is located in uh, downtown Melbourne. And we're going to talk about his history, about his uh, performing, his leadership, and uh, how he directs and any of the future shows that are coming up, because we know that everybody loves theater here on Florida Space Coast. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you were going to say Big Yep. Theater. It's all yeah. good. But anyway, we will see you next week. David, again, thank you so much for coming. And everybody else, we'll see very much, you guys. next week. That is a wrap. Enchiladas. Squirrel. <laughs>